In a world where you need audio heroes, two nerds will come together to fight for nerd kind. It's time for nerds to step up and unite. It's time for a Crisis on Infinite Podcast. <laughs> That's actually how I felt watching the Arrow. Stressed out? Yes. I didn't know what was happening. It was just stuff happening left and right. What, what, what was that? I know. Mean? It's so awesome <laughs> because all of our favorite DC shows are back on now, back. finally. They're back. Yes. yes. We made it. I know. We survived a whole month without it. Was it a month? Yeah. This podcast essentially went out. This podcast was based on those shows, but we did a whole month without them. I'm proud of us. We're good, professionals. Good job, podcast. You get a pat on your back. <laughs> good job. I'm proud you of know you. what? My name's Hoodie. I'm Kevin. And you're listening to the 14th episode of Crisis, Crisis on, on Infinite podcast. podcast. We made it to 14. I know. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's I mean, more than three months. We've been doing this for at least three months now. Every week, too. Yes. I'm going to say for the holiday, but... No, no, we every did week, it every, every week. Yeah, 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 we did every week. Yeah, 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 you know, right. it might be late a little bit, but that's okay. We'll I missed try. one because the baby. That's what yeah. I'm thinking about. I've been par for par, fourteen for fourteen. Hey, you're thirteen for four, thirteen for fourteen. Say I'm that five ninety-seven point eight nine 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 percent. Did you do the math on your? head? I'm going to check your math right now because I doubt that was the correct math. Right? It's thirteen p- divided by fourteen is um, thirteen. I have to use a computer. <laughs> I don't have that. You can't do long Nine point two. It's ninety-two point eight percent. Oh, that's not bad. Don't give yourself the extra five percent. That's still sir. an A. <laughs> that's a low A. Uh, maybe you round it up. I it guess it's an, an a, a for sure. It's an Depending A. Depending on how you grade it, stuff. If I get ninety tiny twos all year, people will be happy for me. <laughs> <laughs> but this week, I would give it probably an A, A minus because our DC shows are back. Oh yeah, man. It's, 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 it's like so an old good. friend coming back home. From- Supergirl, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, they're all back. And I guess Gotham's back too now. Nobody cares about Gotham. We're talking about DC shows. Nobody, nobody cares about Gotham. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get down to Gotham and what I'm sorry they, if I insulted pr- you, but what I don't, they're proposing. Gotham and uh, uh, what's the other show? Uh, 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 Legends, what's it? Legend, not Legends of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Agents, of, Agents Shield. of S.H.I.E.L.D. Legends of S.H.I.E.L.D. Legends of S.H.I.E.L.D. Legends of S.H.I.E.L.D. Both those shows, they can just they can. You can buy away. like five shows in one show. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, as always, we're going to talk about our favorite DC shows because that's what we do most of the time if we can, if so, if notable stuff happens. That's what brought us together. And you know, mm-hmm. since they're back, a lot of notable stuff happened because it's a mid-season premiere and usually they're like, okay, this is what's happening yeah. the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, sorry, no, I was like, I saw it with Supergirl, I guess, because I know yeah, you don't watch I it too I don't much. watch Supergirl. I watch it through you. So It's getting good. Uh, the dominators from the 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 the, uh, the team up. So the bad guy, the bad guy aliens that yeah. were all CGI'd. They showed up on this episode of Supergirl in her, on her Earth. So that's gonna be interesting to follow. See what happens with so, that. So so they they came to her Earth, no, but there's it, no flash on her. Earth. Well, in this episode, what happened is uh she had, I can't remember the guy's name. Oh my god, I can't remember the guy's name. But Monel. Yeah, Monel. Yeah, I know. He, he's like a Daxamite, which is like a uh, a sister or a brother race to the Kryptonians. Uh-huh. And they have the same, you know. Exploded the yellow sun, he has some powers. Oh, wow. But the Daxamites were like looked down upon, like they were like shady or whatever. Huh. So he's on Earth now, and she's trying to show him how to be a good person, how to be a hero, blah, blah, blah. They get sucked up to another dimension on Sunday with had a red sun, so no, no powers. But apparently, he's some kind of royalty because they're about to kill him. Oh. And the donor told us, say, hey, no, 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 don't do that. We have, he had, she needs to bring him bring alive. Cool. And also, if you didn't so. know, Supergirl, how it's different from the Flash. I guess Arrowverse, we call it. Yeah. Is Arrowverse, meaning Legends of Tomorrow, Flash, and Arrow, is that Supergirl is actually on Earth 38, which is, a, ooh, sorry, Earth 38. Yeah, Earth 38. Earth, Earth, Earth 38. There we go. I said you it. got it. You I got did it. it. So Supergirl's gearing up good. Yeah, mm-hmm. looking pretty good. Still a lot of drama in between, Um, you know, um, uh, Jimmy Olsen and his, other, and his alter ego, the Guardian, superhero guy. Mm-hmm. And also, it's very... Uh, I guess if culturally culturally relevant storyline they have going on right there because her sister on the show came out as a lesbian. Yes, so that's pretty cool to see that. You cool. know, all, all, right, so, all cultures, all, all the kind of so stuff. So that was Supergirl. Yeah, and obviously Flash. The sh- mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what, what started us talking to each other. Um, I thought it was cool. Well, uh, first of all, let's get out the way the, the elephant in the room. Plunder, aka the pirate villain. Yeah, not a great villain, no, but that's okay. No, it was, it was, Arg, I'm Blunder. He was he had to be there. So. Had to be there. He yeah. had an eye patch. Yeah, that was from yeah. He had a cool gun. The gun was pretty. But that cool. was it. That, that's, that, that was the basis. That, 
Period, right there. <laughs> uh, I would say, you know, we still don't know why uh, how, or how Barry and Iris can afford the apartment that they live in, even though Barry doesn't have a job job. Actually, I had a listener correct me on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, I can't remember. I'll, get, I'll find a tweet later and give him credit. He said, apparently... Um, Drago, Drago got his job, flashed his job back as a CSI, but I haven't seen proof of it yet. Oh, he gave Barry his job back? He, he got, a, got him another job back. Oh. That's what he said. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Iris also works at the paper. I guess she makes a lot of money. I don't know. But I mean, it's savings. You know, it's real world. Real he's, world. A fl- he's a flash. I just want to see a homeless flash. <laughs> that's, that's the real world right there. He can't afford his rent. <laughs> He doesn't. He can't. His speed won't do anything with that. So he has to do all these odd jobs, but he does them really fast. So. He's just a pizza guy, and he gets crazy tips. Yep, crazy. Like, wow! I he, just ordered you. He is Uber. He's not. He's not even a pizza guy. He's the whole pizza shop. Exactly. He's working at Papa John's, and we are, is it Papa John's or is it Domino's? It says Barry. Like Barry is working on your order. It's Domino's. Yeah, Domino's yeah. where he <laughs> Barry is working on the order. One second, two seconds later, boom, pizza. Wow. Well, was a, there was a comic book actually where in the middle of Flash like saving the city and fighting the bad guy, he was rebuilding the city also. Yeah. So I mean he is pretty fast. Cool. Oh no way. <laughs> yeah. He's... The superhero with super speed. <laughs> no way. Um also before we keep going on, if you want, join the conversation, hashtag crisis crew. Yes. Even though you might not be doing it live with us eventually one day. You know what? We we reread and we'll th- Answer your questions, answer oh, your thoughts, and we want you to be more involved. So use hashtag crisis crew. That's only with two C's. I'm all, I'm all for engagement. And you know what? That that gives you a surefire way to join the crisis crew if you haven't been initiated yet. For the one day uh, battle will be in. So you have to yes, join the one day, the war. <laughs> the war is coming. Uh, but, but going on, uh, <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool what the Flash did that the rest of the series, they kind of set it up that the rest of the season is going to be based on them changing. The future event of Savitar potentially killing Iris. Yeah. Um, and that by changing each new story, it might change Savitar. I tell you, I still yeah. don't trust Wells, though. Mm. I, I still, something about him, I, 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 I'm i waiting for the turn like it was him. Mm. I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> and what was cool is that, you know, you know, they had Plunder, but then they also outlined that Music Meister was going to come out. Yeah. And he'll be a villain probably a couple of, I think in Mar middle of March is that crossover episode with Supergirl. Yeah, the uh, the, 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 the musical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then Gorilla Grodd's going to be in there eventually. We heard Killer Frost, which she got that cool necklace, which I thought was more accurate to the comic book. It looked like it. I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Killer Frost is, oh, what's her name? Oh, I forgot. Oh, shoot. What? I can't remember. Cisco and... Cisco. It's Danielle Panabaker. Yeah. I want to say Kristen, but I know it's not Kristen. Not Kristen. It's Ronnie and... Man, I hate these moments when you're like... Yeah, it's like... It's all like, these names you have to remember. It's, it's a brain it. fart. What is your name? It's a, such a brain fart. Oh, my Killer God. For, uh, I'm sorry. Caitlin. That's Caitlin, what that's it. what it is. I was close. I was like, it's alliteration with Cisco for some reason. <laughs> uh, but Caitlin is Killer Frost, which is a villain technically in the comic books. And she also can be... Like, she's like an anti hero Yeah, it depends on what they want her to do. And um, they give him a moment. She was, so she was in Suicide Squad at one point, too. They also tease that she might have another altercation with being Killer Frost again. Yeah. Which is cool. And they also um, tease somebody coming back uh, sooner than later. Yes. <laughs> they... Uh, T- well, they didn't tease. They kind of out route sh- yeah, outright show, showed you, it, and yeah. we tweeted on <laughs> at infinite underscore pods. Um, you know, uh, is it Daniel Panabaker? Yeah, Daniel Panabaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Candace, pa- I'm getting the names confused. <laughs> Daniel Panabaker with Robbie Amell on set in Star Labs. Dun, dun, dun. So you know, go to breaking news. And we tweet tons of stuff that is fun, that is interesting, and you know, helps you out a little bit. But that. Ronnie, Robbie Amell, who is the half of Firestorm, uh, Caitlyn's husband, right? I think yeah, they were, husband. Yeah, they, they got were married. married. Yeah, they were married. Uh, who died in season two, two. or died, For, quotation first marks. First episode, yeah. Uh, is apparently back, so I'm excited. And it was um, John King who said that um, Julian got him his job. John who? John John King on Twitter, uh, at John King. Look, I think it's what it's You're on the Crisis there. Crew. Welcome. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. What up? What up? What's it called this weekend? They're going to uh, Gasparilla. Gasparilla. Have fun there if you go. <laughs> yeah, if it's this week or if it's next week, go yeah. whenever you want. Go whenever you want. <laughs> Make your own pirate festival. Matter of fact. <laughs> Be a leader. But yeah, that was him that uh, corrected us on Twitter. So thanks for that. But yeah, man, it, it started off well. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I'm really. I mean, I st- Wells, man, there's something about him that just ain't right. Why is he? Why is he pushing this museum so much? Mm-hmm. Why is he always? Ugh, I don't. I don't know. Plus, what's cool is that and. I'm excited because they announced that Darren Chris, one of the main 
cast main one of the main cast members from Glee, uh, who started. Uh, what was it? Was it Blaine? I think. Anybody named Blaine in the movie or show was a jerk? Was he, was he a jerk? He was not a jerk. He okay. was. What is your name? Darren Chris. Darren Chris. Darren Chris. Come on, Darren. Man, Wikipedia is failing me right now. Wikipedia, come on, get stuff together. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Blaine Anderson, I was right. Good, good job. Look at me. I, I would You're the last one to get yourself some credit for a hoodie. I try. You know, I dabble. <laughs> He's gonna be Music Meister, which is perfect. Yeah. Because that's gonna be the crossover between Supergirl and Flash. It's a Glee reunion. How do you feel about uh, the first? Uh, I guess the first showing of Kid Flash in his Kid I Flash glory. I thought Kid Flash. He's kind of annoying a little bit, but I think that's kind of what he's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, like the little buddy or whatever, but yeah. Well, apparently Jesse Quick's coming back this season too. Yeah, they said they announced that, so his boo is, will be back soon. <laughs> his I'm boo. pretty, and I'm 100 percent sure one of them is going to the Legends at some point this year. Yeah, because I don't know how. Probably just, Jesse Quick, just because now yeah. she's not doing anything. She's out there, and so they could put her on a TV show, and she's good to go. I, I, I think I think Earth Two Well is coming back too at some point. Mm-hmm. He, he, um, didn't, he didn't trust that well either. Remember, he said that like episode like three or four. When they bought him over, he didn't yeah. say well either. So. Well, they also announced that, so next week, Gypsy, I think that's who she's supposed to be. Yeah. The, at the end of the episode, character came out saying she's looking for H.R. Wells, which is apparently supposed to be Gypsy yeah. from the comic books. I I don't really know that much. I just know she's her name's Gypsy. Yeah. She's gonna fight Cisco next week. Cisco's getting his super suit. So hey, where's my super suit? You know he's gonna say it. You know he's gonna say where's, it. Where's I know I would. Where's he, my super suit? He, meant, he does so many pop culture references. He, he did. Uh, Expector Patronus at one time when he was, mm-hmm. had the, the Weather Wizards won. He's going to say that. I know he's going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but another highlight going on, Tuesday now is Legends of Tomorrow. I moved from Thursday to put Riverdale on the CW. Riverdale looks creepy. Speaking of which, the CW, <laughs> they're really good with their music they put on the shows. Because they are amazing. Legends of Tomorrow started up with Annie Up. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is right. This is how you start Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we should have started the song. Oh, next time. Next week. Yeah, we can do it next Write week. Write that. Pencil that down. Anti up. Putting in my reminders next right now. Next week. First podcast of February. And safe. <laughs> safe. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow. I thought Legends was better than Flash. Let me ask you this. Why does Legends get such a bad rap? Uh, just because it was on Thursday nights, and I think the first season wasn't that good. I think that's why. You know, usually TV shows, if they have a bad first season, a lot of people doubt them. Mm-hmm. And then the second season, the one we're like, all right, this is good. Because off- The Office started just like that, too. You're right. That's a good point. Office. Uh, American Office. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of like... It was, it was okay. Yeah. And then season two came in, and it was like, wow, the office is really good. Yeah. And then it made it to nine seasons. I think it was because of football. Because mm. it was on Thursday night. I mean, you know, and football. always competed for football. Yeah, and football Tuesday, is not great anyway. But At least as of now, I think it's just Bachelor or whatever. So Second not, night of Bachelor. I've never seen that show either. I don't get what people <laughs> Well, are. that's not what this podcast is about. That's I probably know, a certain that's podcast a, that's about That's as far as we going to go into it. Do you <laughs> want us to talk about Bachelor? Hashtag crisis crew. Maybe we'll talk about it one day. We're bringing, we're bringing Sydney and Sarah. They can take over for yes, us for 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 but Legends was awesome, man. Mm-hmm. George um, Lucas, like, yeah, she, yeah. The whole episode was about George <laughs> Lucas and the impact he has on society, which was great. That was great. And it's about Star Wars, how essentially Rip Hunter, uh, who's the captain of Legends of Tomorrow, the British guy, uh, he disappeared at the beginning of season two, mm-hmm. and he ended up in the sixties, like, I think late sixties, early seventies, yeah. And he was working on a student film that George Lucas was his assistant producer, or assistant director on, and it was just so cool because you're like. All this stuff the legends were doing could kind of inspire George Lucas to make Star Wars. And then he was, he was actually making the Legends of Tomorrow movie, which is pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> and so they they obviously did awesome Star Wars reference, like, you're our only hope, George Lucas, which was great. <laughs> they had a friggin' trash compactor scene. I was like, are I you love. serious? It was like, this is odd point. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? That you ain't gonna do this? I, I was waiting for him to say, um... C-3PO, C-3PO. Oh, where could he be? <laughs> <laughs> and then, so th- that, that's what I thought made it great, is that they, it was on a historical figure that's not really a historical figure. He's yeah. a pop culture icon. And it showed, like, it had influence on Adam and, well, I don't know the Commander name. Steel. Commander Steel. Yeah. and Or Citizen Steel, that's what it is. Yeah, that's right, Citizen Steel. And it's like, wow, George Lucas does have a big impact on society. It makes you think... I thought it was kind of cool, like the bromance too, but that's like kind of b- blooming between Steel and Adam. Mm-hmm. I kind of like how they're, they're and dark, back and forth. Dark and uh, Merlin. Yeah, <laughs> it's so cool like that. And then also, um, I just want Captain Cold to be on it on the show again. I miss like, his, I miss officially his. not like a mirage or whatever, because 
I think you just add so much more sass to everything. That's, it. I miss it. I miss it. That's what I it is. I, I don't say tone. I'm just sass. That's what it is. What do you think you're doing with that? You're not a killer. <laughs> <laughs> and then the way you look at people, like, what are you, what are you doing, Mick? Let's go. You know, man, man. It's like a '50s cop. Like, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, um, I mean, it was a great episode. I mean, I don't, I don't. That show was just like we we watch Flash and Arrow. Flash is always a little bit more cheerier than Arrow, but both of them are like, like having a and more of a serious more tone. more darker, but Legends is the mix, which is great, and it balances very well. It does mm. the, the comedy and the uh, you know like I'm not I'm not calling them Le- Legion of Doom. I'm not I'm not doing that. Like Sarah kept saying that I'm not calling them Legion of Doom. I'm not doing that. They <laughs> like, are the Legion of Doom. But she kept saying she kept saying I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I just want it to one time for the go. Meanwhile, I tell Legion of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just like it shows the meeting, but it just says meanwhile at the bottom. Like that's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, <I'm> perfect. <laughs> I get sick of Merlin too. I'm so tired of Merlin. I mean. He only has one hand. How can he still fight? Also, (laughs) speaking of which, Merlin and Dark started on Arrow. Reverse Flash started on Flash. Yeah. Now they're introducing another kind of, I guess, crossover, not cross, uh, universe villain Uh of Black Flash. And we talked about this last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did. That he's actually going to, I think, start an Arrow. And I think. That could be the Legends next threat, which would be interesting. Because he's a time wraith right now, and it's clear that Reverse Flash is messing with the timeline. Mm -hmm. So that that, that could be. That's easy right there. There you go. You know? There you go. I hate Reverse Flash too. And then it's showing up like switching cords. We'll go to Arrow, and then we'll actually tire podcast new stuff. That's okay. <laughs> this is what you came for. We talk about DC stuff, and then we talk about everything else. Yeah, we want to get our DC stuff th- out of the way first because it's Friday. We've been holding up for we've been we've been four tired. days. Ah, yes, <laughs> um, hands twitching. Arrow. I thought Arrow was good too. Arrow was great, man. Um, Who the heck is he? Prometheus. Who's Prometheus? I don't even know. It's either it's got to be either the lawyer who's helping Diggle now. Uh, Diggle, at, we learned that got arrested. So Arrow took place literally twenty minutes, maybe yeah, after, after the season finale, after the mid-season finale, yeah. where we know that Black Canary uh, Laurel came back, but mm-hmm. we found out what Kevin. She was from Earth too. It was Black Siren. Well, she was a villain. Like, yeah, she was bad. It made yeah. me sad. <coughs> I had hope. And it I was, had hope. It was snatched They crisscrossed from me. you. And it's something we didn't predict at all, which, you know, we still have our record of 95-ish. Yeah, we're, so, we're, we're, we're so bad. Because we didn't say a prediction, which is just as good as not answering at all, which would still give you negative points. And the way they explained like it was that. so great, too. Like, no, she, uh, she died, but then they came and got her. The legends came and got her before she died and dropped her off here. I'm like, that makes so much sense. Yay! <laughs> Yay! And then they're like, no, I'm, I'm actually the bad guy. I'm like, I'm going to kill well, all the whole of you. time. So she said the Legends of Tomorrow helped her. I'm like, wait a second. They probably would have shown that on an episode. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Yeah. It happened off screen. Um, but we found out she was a villain. Um, Diggle is getting help with the district attorney to get out of the military threat he's supposed to be in. Yeah, that, that's, kind of, that's, pretty, that's a pretty good story. That was essentially the recap of that episode. That's what really happened. Not that much happened, but it was like, oh, wow, what? Well, Arrow fought Prometheus hand in hand, hand, yeah, hand for again. for like two minutes. And it shows they're, they're very even. Uh-huh. They're very even, except Prometheus has a sword. And I Arrow still doesn't. think it's Tommy Merlin. You know, he might the actor might be on Chicago Med now, but... That's, man, I think that might be what it be, man. I want it to be Tommy Merlin. I want him to come back. And you had a theory about John Diggle, which we'll, I want to... We'll get to that in a little bit. Can we get to it now? But, no, we'll do it. <laughs> it's so good. Well, we got to talk about the episode. At the end of the episode, <laughs> apparently they're looking for another Black Canary, and there happens to be in Hub City. Yeah, which I'm which not familiar is with. the home of The Question. Oh! I got you. I love The Question. He's did a great my, guy. Did my research. He's a great guy. Is another person that has the screaming ability. She can scream loud noises. That's the main power of Black Canary. Yeah. And... And she's fighting and all that other yeah. stuff, yeah. But that she has the skill apparently. And next week they're gonna go find her. I just wish they would have turned Black Siren into a nice lady instead of yeah. a villain. Instead of finding a new person, I'm like, I don't really care about you. I don't yeah. know who you are. Just give me someone that is familiar, but it it's kind of cool that forced. has a nose ring now. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> if it was a tad force, hopefully they could take a, take some time and build a character mm-hmm. over the next episode or two. So we can actually care about it. Now I'm just like, okay, you just found a guy and a girl in a bar. Cool. <laughs> That's great. And then <laughs> I guess now we'll talk about my theory. Yes. So, I, and it's not mine. I found on the re, on the internet, on the interwebs, mm-hmm. that apparently John Diggle, so we know he's the bodyguard of Green Arrow, of, yes. of Oliver, Green Arrow, all that. And he was introduced on the TV show as an original character. Now he's in the comics. Yep. Uh, I think he's technically in video games because Lego Batman Three. Yeah, I think he's in that he game. He was in. Yeah. They had like an arrow pack, which is kind of yeah. cool. Um, but P- 
people are saying that John Diggle is eventually going to become Green Lantern. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that somehow, I mean, John Diggle is going to become John Stewart. It could be John Stewart Diggle or, or John, John Diggle, Diggle Stewart. Stewart. He'll become the African American Green Lantern. Yeah, John Stewart is fine. Yes, yeah, John Stewart. Well, some people don't know who John Stewart is. So that's why. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> Dude, watch watch Justice League Unlimited. Exactly. I think it'd be a great. <coughs> it'd be a great th- turn because it'll be. It, it actually was a comic book of Green Arrow and Green Lantern. They had a comic book run for for a while with John Stewart or with Hal Jordan. So there's two. Uh, I can't there's, remember actually. There's there's more than two Green Lanterns. There's, there's, there's Hal Jordan. There's four main ones. There's who he's the. He's sort of the main one that had his own movie. Ryan Reynolds was in, but they kind of might want him to be Deadpool. Uh, I mean, uh, that's Green not, Lantern. There's again, no way going to happen. Gonna, there's no and way going to happen. There's John Stewart, um, who was introduced in, well, I guess the most people in Justice League Unlimited, the TV show. Yeah. And there's a couple other ones down the line. Kyle Rayner, and then it's like yeah. an old guy also. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Though. He but like the they're first saying one. that Diggle could, could reveal that his real name is John Stewart or somehow in that. And that he inherits the ring somehow, like later down this season, probably next season. It ain't gonna happen this season. If that happens, because he's sort of having this redemption arc now, and then you know next season makes sense. If that happens, he blow he freaking. I want you, the listener out there, to Google the term. I'm not gonna include this on the links to Infinity on <laughs> the not. blogs. Do this on your own time. Just look for the term "stands dead." I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> I think it'd be smart because he Diggle has military background. Yeah, um, which I, I believe John Stewart has. He does. As well. He was a Marine, and it just it makes sense and it'd be cool to have a Green Lantern on the TV show. I don't know if in Smallville, Will there was a Green Lantern. Mm, so no, there's a Manhunter. It wasn't it? Wasn't a Green Lantern though. So Smallville was the CW's first attempt at superhero programming. Where they had the young stories of Clark Kent becoming Superman. The last yeah. shot of the, of took, the TV show was him, ten years him being to do Superman. It. But uh, yeah, they did. Um, and they introduced like all these heroes, but they made them like realistic. It wasn't as good. Yeah, but they, they, they had, had a Green Arrow, which kind of led them to thinking, oh, maybe we'll make a Green Arrow TV show. Yeah, and then it kind of got hung up in you know whatever for. So I'd be psyched for Green Lantern on TV. I mean, they, they are, they've already explored space in this show. Yeah, they know we know the aliens out there. Mm-hmm. Why not that that ring just come one day? No. Green Arrow's getting his they butt He doesn't have to have his own TV show. You know, later down the line, you know, when CW is on every night. But I don't think I don't think the effects oh, for that would be that hard. Maybe it is. No, Diggle wouldn't have his own show. He's not. He, he's a big name, but he's not that big of a name. But I don't think, I don't think that even like CGI effects would be that hard for the, to do that. It's I just know, a, a green I mean, glow as around. As long you. as it's good as Ryan Reynolds' power suit, you're probably good to go. <laughs> That's a good TV show budget right there. I mean, because because I mean, the flying effects on Supergirl look <coughs> fine look fine to me. All I do, all I do is add a, a green hue to the outside of Diggle, and then. This green, his eyes, which you probably could do with contacts, really. Mm-hmm. So that could be practical effects. You don't even have to do anything else, really. But I think that would be smart on their part. Do it. Um, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and another theory. So I actually did research uh, this past month on fan theories with DC shows. Mm-hmm. Gotham, which is a show we don't really normally talk about on the show. Um, they're, <laughs> they're back, actually. I think they came back this week. Yeah, this week or last week, yeah. And One of the two. They, are, they have this character named Jerome. Jerome. Who... And Gotham is based on the origins of sort of Bruce Wayne, sort of as a kid, more but of the, more of the Batman, more of villains. you know Detective Gordon, Commissioner Gordon, yeah, um, the villains, which is cool because they have like the Riddler, and they the, have Penguin, and, the, and the kind of the city also, and the city as well, the city of Gotham. They introduced the character, I don't know when, um, first named season. Jerome. Second season, I think. They a lot of people were like, hey, this might be the Joker. Well, now they've kind of like almost officially confirmed that he is the Joker. Yeah, but I don't. So they're saying that Jerome. Is a Joker, but is get a concrete background. So in the comics, in every media, the Joker doesn't have a backstory. He's a you don't know. Well, he has a backstory. He has like several, He's, but no, they never they never said which one is the official don't have one. A concrete backstory. Yeah, and he doesn't have a concrete real name. Yeah, I mean, you know, like Riddler's Edward Nigma, uh, the Penguins. Oswald Cobblepot, so forth, so on. Because in, in the Batman animated series, the backstory is he was a comedian that bombed one night and kind of went crazy. Yeah. Backstory of another one is he was actually the Red Hood, and then he they tried, some thugs tricked him into stealing some chemicals, and he fell in the bad acid, and that's how he became Joker. Mm-hmm. But it keeps whoever's writing the story always changes it. Yeah. It's not a concrete background for um, Joker. But what Gotham is doing is giving him a concrete background, which I don't really like because he's supposed to be an enigma. Not yeah. you know Edward Nigma obviously, but yeah. you don't know what he is, and that's what makes him awesome. He's just crazy, crazy incarnate. And then the yin yang is I don't like the, the yin and yang to it. There can't be no Joker without Batman. Mm-hmm. 
So Bruce Wayne's still what, 14, 15 years old? Yeah. He's still 10 years away from being Batman, so why are you making a Joker already? Mm-hmm. You but know? you gotta admit, so what they're doing on Gotham is the Jerome character, they admitted that he's essentially the Joker. Um, that this week and next week, they're doing storylines that are straight out of the comic book. There's a comic book, I don't know, can you look it up, Kevin? Yeah. Um, that the Joker has his face, like, torn off. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, he, no, he cuts it off himself, because he's Joker. That, he's... There's this cult of Joker, and they kind of worship him. He, he tears it off. The episode this week was that, and the episode next week is him getting his face back on. And it's just like, wow, this is a Joker. Stop saying he's Jerome, he's the Joker. <laughs> and that eventually, and the promo for the episode, and we'll put it on uh, on the podcast, blog, and everything, um, that he's wearing an orange version of the purple iconic Joker suit. Well, that's the a flower, but it's all it, it looks more like a ringleader, which makes sense. I was like, oh, that makes sense for a purple outfit. Maybe it gets dyed purple. <gasps> oh, well, maybe, yeah, maybe that's this what is happens. all before yeah. and he falls into that when Batman yeah, yeah, becomes yeah, Batman. Yeah. All right, well, I appreciate it. So I'll just watch the last two seasons of Gotham because that's what really matters. So it was in the New 52 universe where, jo- where it got rebooted and Joker cut his face off. That's where that. So oh, okay. if you want to read that story, it's in the New 52 universe of the uh, go. And DC new, Comics. New 52 is what, Kevin? Basically, they revamped everything. Uh, from the beginning, from scratch, and started over again. Stuff like uh, Cyborg is now in the Justice League, not in the Teen Titans, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Wonder Woman, they changed it from an Amazonian princess to an Amazonian warrior. That's why she has a sword uh, cool. and a shield now. Stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and all I want to call a little segment now with any DC shows is the DC check-in. <laughs> I like uh, that. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, so that's when we'll talk about shows. And now we'll actually talk about other stuff. You know, it's okay. This podcast is more about than that stuff. He wears up that. That's so creepy. <laughs> One, look, look at this. He's wearing it upside down. Look at that. Yeah, see? That like, is not cool. Yeah, that is see. so not cool. <laughs> Just look it up. It's scary. Um, Marvel and Square Enix officially announced that they are partnering up for future video games. The first video game is called The Avengers Project. Not the real name of the game, but yeah. what it's going to be about. The Avengers. I think it looks cool. Yeah, they dropped, they dropped, dropped the trailer to show. I hope it's not like Final Fantasy, but it looks cool. They dropped the trailer. It showed uh, Thor's hammer, Captain America's shield, Iron Man's... Uh, Pulse, um, uh, oh my gosh, uh, re, uh, you know, his, his hand, well, I can't remember what they're called, arc reactor, the, mm-hmm. the, in, in his hand. And the Hulk's glasses. Yeah, whispered. it's just, I don't get my hopes up, because I want to be like, yeah, that's going to be awesome. They say, yeah, the Avengers product coming out in 2022. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so you don't want to wait. You're just like, if you're going to tell me about it. I want to come out next year. At so, least. <laughs> so you're, is that something you have with, with video games in general is that if you're gonna show me it show me it like a couple of months in advance or something yeah I don't, I don't like be teased and then the game's not coming out for another year like the whole reason I bought Xbox One was because Crackdown was coming out in quarter, th- and quarter three still 20, and it's still not out and <laughs> <laughs> so I hate that so much <laughs> so I, I'm excited for the game I hope it's, hopefully it's more like Marvel Ultimate Alliance than it is anything else did you play that? I did not play that. You didn't play off. You got to get that, man. Oh, uh, well, it's on backwards compatibility on Xbox, so maybe I'll get it. It's like 20 bucks. It's worth it. It's worth I kind of just dropped like $400 on Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah, you can chill. So you can chill. But it's good, gonna it's, wait on that. It's good to play with like, well, like, like your housemates because, I mean, you can be, you, you can be Deadpool. Your, your buddy can be, uh, I don't know, Mr. Mr. Fantastic. The other buddy mm-hmm. can be the Hulk. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Nice. Hopefully, hopefully it's, like, it's more like that than there's anything else. Good. But I hope it comes out soon and uh, not, you know, after... Next election. <laughs> <laughs> when we're old and we can't really play video games. Anymore. Exactly. When, when you have kids, hoodie. This one's going to come out when you have kids. Then I can play with my ch- That sounds weird. But <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm going to stop that. Yeah, thank you. I try so much. I, I dabble in my dip. No. See, again. See. I'm, I'm stopping myself before I s- check yourself before you wreck yourself. Next topic. Did you? <laughs> yes, next topic. Um, speaking of Xbox games, next month in February, and we both have Xboxes, which is why we talk a lot more about Xbox. I'm saving um, for a PS4, but no yeah, time well, soon. Well, I guess now we'll have a Nintendo Switch in two months, and then we'll talk about that more, I guess. Yeah. We talk about it enough. We won't talk about it much. Um, actually, I do want to induct someone in the Crisis crew sure. who's helped me a lot, and he probably won't even realize it. Um, I follow him. I make the podcast follow him. His username, is, well, his name, Twitter name, I don't know, is Wario64. Wow. Um, <laughs> let's see what his username His username Oh, is at Wario64. He has helped me. Um, he tweets out when things get released online and uh-huh. stuff and helped me instantly get it. So awesome. all my Nintendo stuff, I've gotten it because yeah. he's told me about it. Um, so shout out. You're on the Crisis Crew. One day you'll listen to us, maybe. And one day you'll be ready for the war. Yes, the war. The war's um, coming. But the Xbox next month is 
Star Wars Force Unleashed is going to be a Games of Gold for free. I haven't played that in years. I want I'm that. excited for yeah. that game. I miss that game. Do you remember, remember the first mission in that game? Mm-hmm. You're Darth, Darth Vader? Vader. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was so great. So Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. Uh, I mean, it's not con- it's not canon now anymore. Not I guess. Anymore. Uh, it takes place. You are Darth Vader's secret apprentice, and you go out on vill- on missions to destroy the Jedi's that remain between I do think, Episode though, Three, Revenge of the Sith, and yeah. oh, I guess Rogue One now. <laughs> exactly. Between Episode Three and Rogue One, you're right. That would have been a great movie. It they wanted to make a movie instead of a game. Mm-hmm. That'd been a great movie, I think. Mm-hmm. And the guy from um, Being Human could have played uh, uh, what, what was his name? Star Killer. I don't remember his actual name. Yeah, his, name, his name was Starkiller. Like, I can't yeah, remember his oh, name. His yeah. Na- his, yeah, his Star name was Starkiller. But the, the guy, if you ever watched Being Human, the vampire on that show actually was the guy that voiced Starkiller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that was a great and he's name. The guy that, that guy voices Darth Maul now in yeah, Star exactly. Rebels, so it's exactly. kind of come full circle a little bit. <laughs> he, can't, he can't be a villain. He cannot <laughs> not be a villain. His name's Sam something. I can't remember his name. But yeah, that was a great game. Sam Whitaker. There you go. There we Did go. we win? Boom. No, it's... It's something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, but I'm excited. It's a great game. If you have Xbox game, uh, Gold, definitely download that. I don't know if it comes with a DLC, which is kind of cool because you got the oh, you got, you got go the different, on different Endor, skins. Yeah. Like Hoth, Tatooine. Um, download that. It's a fun game. It's very great. You know, it's game. free achievements because we already played it, sort of. I don't know. Um, also, Rogue One. Well, now we're in the Star Wars corner of our yeah. podcast, I guess. I kind of just group everything all together. Uh, Rogue One is actually coming out with t- two spinoff books or novels to explain more backstory. So if you love Rogue One but want to know, hey, what happens to Jin and Saw? Or, hey, what happens to Chirrut? <laughs> uh, and Baze, or Baze, uh, the guy with the gun. Yeah, the guy with the gun. <laughs> uh, they're actually releasing two novels uh, that kind of set the stage before uh-huh. um, Star the Rogue One stories. The... First one is called, what is it called? Rebel Rising. Okay. And we'll explore Jin's youth um, and retire with Saw Gerrera, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Because it kind of jumped like 15 Save the issues. Save the Rebellion. Maybe it'll tell you how he does that. I <laughs> still don't know how I, why he does that, but maybe it'll tell you. And then the second book for Anchira and Baze, the guy with the gun, is titled Guardians of the Willis, which essentially they are that of the... Jedi Temple. And that was the name of the... Uh, that was the original yeah. name of Star Wars before yeah. it became anything. Blue yeah. Harvest and Star Wars. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm excited about that. The only thing about it is that I don't read books, so uh, I think I might be investing in Audible pretty soon. <laughs> Audible? Yeah. You know, Audible, if you want to sponsor us. Yeah, sure. It's it's sponsor. Podcasts talk about you a lot. Sponsor, sponsor everybody us. else. We're a good podcast. Yeah, you sponsor yeah. everybody else. <laughs> Bring it on over here. Anyway. <laughs> but, you know, if you're into books, you're reading, or you're listening to audio, there you go. Yeah. Now, listen to us first before yeah, you Yeah, we'll, we'll prepare you for it. And we'll then prepare you, go, you for it, then you can go to Exactly. Recently. But those come out later this year, so don't worry about that. We'll be here for a while before they come out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> biggest news of all is Star Wars Episode Eight is now oh, God. The Last Jedi. Ooh. 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 I was, uh, funny story, actually. I listened to a podcast mm. with Mark Hamill recently, the Nerds Podcast, mm. and he, they had him on there doing an interview. And he said he didn't know what his role was in Star Wars Episode Seven. So he worked out and got, got in all this shape, and they like, told me, yeah, you're just going to be at the end of the movie, taking your hood off, and that was it. <laughs> he didn't know that. Well, I look fabulous <laughs> for taking my hood off then. <laughs> but uh, who, as of right now, Last Jedi, the the poster is on red. You can go to- Anywhere. Press, just Google it. At Infinite underscore pod. Or there, we have yeah. blog about go it. There. So go, go there. Go there. Don't go to any website. Yeah. Go to us first. Sorry. Um, where we blog about you know the title, which is in red, Yeah. Um, which the only one before this was- Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. So it's kind of old school, which is kind of cool. Let me ask you this, though. Uh-huh. So it's called Star Wars The Last Jedi, right? Yes. Who do is I it? think The Last Jedi is? No, is it singular or is it plural? Ooh. Well, Jedi technically, pro tip right now, Jedi is not a singular term. It's plural yeah. and ambi- whatever it's that ambiguous. type of word is. It's like deer and deer. Yes. Fish and fish. It's a bunch of deer. Moose and moose. Mooses. No, it's mooses. It's meeses. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like uh, that's, that's my, my, my main question. Is this just... Is it about Luke? Is it about Rey? Is it about both of them? Or is it about them and some Who others? Who the last Jedi is? Is it about Kylo Ren? Or new fan, new theory I thought of Uh-oh. today. It's gonna be a lot about Snoke, Supreme Leader Snoke. Ooh, maybe he was a Jedi that was technically the last Jedi when Darth Vader died. Sort of. There's also a rumor that he's actually Darth Plagueis the Wise. Have you I heard don't that? know. I'm confused. Well, Darth Plagueis, if you don't know, is the, was the teacher or the master of emperor palpatine you can save people from dying and uh <laughs> which will explain why he looks really crusty 
<laughs> He's been alive for a long time. Uh, He's been doing every. I'm excited for Star Wars. You know, a lot of people like Eric, who is now officially on the Crisis Crew. Welcome, Eric. Uh, you know, bullying us for three weeks. Kind of tired of Star Wars every year. It's a great time. Um, and actually, you know what? That'll be my, my baby's first birthday, actually, when it comes out. Boom, there you go. Take yeah. your baby to go see. You're going to take her to see Star Wars? She won't even know what's going on. Yeah, she, she, it's her first birthday. She'll be like, what? She can get in for free, right? No, she probably could. There you go. You're welcome. Getting you free movie <laughs> tickets. There you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> December, it seems so far away. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you got to think about these free baby things, like free admission to a park. Free IHOP. Free airplane, maybe. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. No, she you She can go on airplane until like six years old. You wait I'm sorry. for that. No, 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 that's not happening. Um, but I'm excited for Last Jedi. No teaser came out yet. When uh, It makes sense that when episode when Force Awakens come out, the teaser came out a year before. Yeah, when, when did Rogue One's teaser come out? Um, like eight months before. I'm not sure exactly. So you're looking like probably like March, you think? Yeah, so I'm probably thinking two months, maybe next month, they come out with a teaser for it. Maybe, what, what's the first uh, Marvel movie coming out this year? You remember? Guardians, maybe with the Guardians, you think maybe? Well, maybe. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. A lot of times, so Marvel and Star Wars are owned by Disney. Yeah. A lot of times they have cross trailers. Yeah, cross a lot. promotion. Because yeah, it makes sense because yeah. the first real, I guess the first meaty trailer for Force Awakens came out during uh, Captain America: Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. And, yeah, yeah. and the crowd got hyped for that We're home more truly. than the actual movie. Like whoa. <laughs> that was the first time in a theater I've seen a crowd get hyped for a trailer. There was clapping after the trailer, <laughs> and the movie hadn't even started. I was like, whew, this is great. Everyone else decides, he was like, you're weird. I love, like, I love no, people. this is what I love. I know people love watching movies illegally now because it, it's, it's easy or whatever, but mm-hmm. I love I love a good theater crowd and want to see a movie, man. Mm-hmm. I remember when I first saw Transformers. I, like, I love seeing like I, Civil War, way more effective in the theaters for me than at home. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I, it also could be because we don't have great home theater set up. Yes, we do. That's okay. But also, I mean, like, I remember when I first saw Transformers, and it was the scene where uh, Barricade is about to try to kill uh, Sam, and Bumblebee comes and, like, trips him. Doing, like, Transformers a Transformers is this? The first one, the very first one. Okay. Bumblebee comes and trips him, and, you know, he, uh, he falls, Sam and then Megan Fox get in the car, they drive away, and then Barricade transforms and starts chasing, starts chasing him, do a car chase, the guy behind me goes, hell yeah! <laughs> it was, it was, like, everybody's just clapping. <laughs> Yeah, Transformers. You. But I love a good movie crowd. Like the same way, I remember when I first when we saw Force Awakens. When is it? We did a long time ago. If you're far, far away, and then the first music swell, did cheers throughout the whole theater. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's just right. Be excited to be a CJ movie, man. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. Just don't go there and like a lump on a log. Yeah, have some fun. Like if you're gonna see a movie, go see a movie. Exactly. And um, also, pro tip. Adam Tickets, this isn't an ad, whatever. Adam Tickets actually lets you download a movie, lets you go watch a movie for free with the app. And I actually use this. I shouldn't have wasted it. I wasted it on Sausage Party, <laughs> uh, which is a great movie on its own. It's on Netflix like It's, it's three on weeks. Netflix in three days, though. <laughs> yeah. um, but it gives you a free ticket, and you can go see a movie, and you could save that for Guardians, Spider-Man, Thor, Star Wars next year, yeah, uh, Justice League. And boom, you got a free ticket. That's thirteen dollars. You don't gotta pay for it. That's smart. I don't know if how much it's costing them, but you know what? I love that up. I don't really complain about movie prices that much though, because it's like you know, eleven fifty. Mm-hmm. Get over it. <laughs> <It's 11:50. laughs> you spend twenty dollars a week in coffee. So what's what's one movie ticket? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just me though. And then also, Resident Evil Seven Biohazard came out this week. Yeah, it looks creepy, man. It looks scary as anything. Apparently, you can do VR with it. Nope. And nope. from what I've heard, I don't have any VR. I can't afford VR. My, I can't either. Uh, <laughs> we also don't have a PlayStation or My good PCs. It. My nephew has it. It's on PS4. It's pretty It's pretty cool. He has Resident Evil or PSVR? He has, he has PSVR. Um, VR is kind of like you put the goggles on. Yeah. It's kind of if you were a kid of the 80s or I guess 90s. There was that one arcade the game Boy? Oh, no. that you put the the big tank. It was like a oh, tank uh, game. You oh, put the oh, big oh, setup on your head. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's, it's still had that. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that, but you don't need that setup. It, I played the Batman VR game. It was actually pretty. It was pretty cool. Um, it was pretty cool. But the apparently in VR, it's super scary because you can't see anything. Like what I heard, people have gotten motion sick and have thrown up. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like, woo. It's not for Kevin. But <laughs> it looks like a cool game. I'm watching Markiplier play it right now. On Twitch? On uh, YouTube. Okay. Markiplier is like the second, is right below PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Oh, PewDiePie, that guy. Good job, PewDiePie. I can't Good job, it. PewDiePie. He's not really you. making any more videos, but that's okay. And he's rich. He doesn't need to. He doesn't he's set to. for life. That's right. <laughs> um, you know, gaming YouTube, it's a really thing. It's yeah. a thing. If you have an Xbox, I guess PlayStation 2, 
You can shoot yourself. You can record yourself playing a game, put it on YouTube. Boom, you're good. You get yeah. a career. Because kids don't play games anymore. Kids just watch people play games. That's what yep. they do. They like, don't I don't need to buy. I don't need to buy Resident Evil Seven. I'm watching someone else play it. <laughs> it's just it's just the same thing as having your friend have the game and you watching on the couch. Yeah, yeah. Just, just I'm watching out, on my time. Hang out. You have a ho ho. You know, have a good time. No, I'm not getting scared as much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm a punk. Look, even the, like horror movies. Mm-hmm. Don't see him. I'm a punk. I don't want. Don't want. I don't. I don't want to be scared. I want to be scared around a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't want to be scared. <laughs> that's my scared. <laughs> I think I haven't roller coaster in a long time. I need to go to the park this this year. That be gonna be our. Be our well, I'm vacation. actually confused now. I think we talked about this earlier. It's because Disney owns Marvel and they're making a Marvel Land. Yeah. Did we talk about this already? I think we talked about Nintendo Land. I think we talked about Marvel Land. Uh, that why or Star Wars Land, one of the two. Why is uh, Universal Island Adventures still have all the Marvel stuff? It's some kind of weird deal they have. Like they they, they own rights to the whole. Yeah, we did talk. Yep, we did yeah. talk about this. That's right. Correct. I'm not a lawyer, so I can't explain. I, I'm this. not a legal lawyer, so I'm not able to tell you this. I only know bird law, so. <laughs> bird law. <laughs> It's always sunny reference. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm not still, still catching up on that. That's all right. One day. <laughs> it's a great show. If you don't watch it's Always Sunny, you're missing a lot. Very sick. I won't say it's sick. It's just very, not very sick. out there. It's very different. It's than very different. Comedies, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, The Rock somehow is saying that he wants Black Adam movie is still happening, or the Shazam movie is still happening. Here's the thing about that. Uh huh. Captain Adam, I'm Captain Adam. I'm sorry, Shazam. Shazam. He's built Captain Marvel. But Shazam is a very popular hero, mm-hmm. I want to say, because, you know, he's a little kid. So Shazam, he's, all, he's huge and he's all these powers, blah, blah, blah. So kids like that, of course. They want to be big and strong with it. Shazam is a part of the DC stuff. Probably should include this in the DC the yeah. DC check in, but that's all right. And, you know, his main villain is, is um, Black Adam. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I don't understand how you make a whole movie about Black Adam, though. That's true. And another thing about it, a part of that is. Since The Rock's making the movie, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's, it's going to make millions. <laughs> it's, 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 Hundreds of millions. That's the funny thing about it. Like, uh, as much as it's a complex I have, like, oh, you can't make a Black Adam movie. Who's going to be in it? The Rock? Oh, okay. That's fine. Cool, <laughs> I think. I'm not sure, really. And I don't know who, who's going to get to play opposite The Rock, though, because The Rock usually is the main draw of the movie. You don't, you don't see The Rock lose uh-huh. a fight, because he's going to lose, because he's, bla- he's, he's a bad guy. So yeah, Well, if- he lost in Doom. They lose and doom. The first video game adaptation that had The Rock in it. Yeah. Mm. That's a good movie. Doom. Cult movie right there. <laughs> um, but uh, eventually it'll come one day, hopefully. I'll, I'll give it a shot, of course. Well, apparently they're shot. saying Wonder Woman isn't supposed to be that good as people thought it would be. And that comes out next month? No, it comes out like in May, I think. April or May. Wait, I thought it... Because next month is... February is Batman, Lego Batman. March is Beauty and the Beast and Power Rangers and Logan. Oh, June, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and people just people just hate man. That's all it is. People say the mm-hmm. same thing about um, uh, what was that movie called? Not, it wasn't Batman vs Superman Super Size Squad? Rogue One. That's what it was. People saying yeah. Rogue One was going to be horrible. They had to do all these and reshoots. And made a billion dollars exactly. last week. So you're welcome. Relax. And also, <laughs> speaking of Suicide Squad, your favorite movie that a lot of people don't like. Which I don't understand. It's a good uh, movie. <laughs> this is good news for you. You'll really appreciate that. Is Suicide Squad is nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, I'm going to care about Oscars. It is nominated for Best Makeup and Hairstyling, Harley Quinn. <laughs> it's all right there. It's so weird. Um, but here's the rundown of the Oscar nominations you really need to know. Uh-huh. Uh, Rogue One was nominated for Best Sound Mixing and Best Visual Effects. Are these all, are these all the ones that get, they do off-screen? It's the, all the off-screen <laughs> okay. ones. No, no, it's no nerdy <laughs> movie got nominated for any on-screen awards. Yeah. But hey, you, you, Somehow, if you sit, you're still Oscar nominated. Movie. I actually think if it goes off the way it looks, Logan might have a shot to get a to get an Oscar nomination next year. Yeah, and I see next year. It. Yeah, be yeah, way after. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you oh, Logan's amazing. in March. That's what. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Doctor Strange was nominated for best visual effects. Okay, makes sense. Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange is pretty good. Uh, Star Wars makes sense because you can't beat Skywalker sound. No, you can't. Anything. No. Suicide Squad makeup because of Harley Quinn essentially. And then Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Best Costume Design and Best Production Design. Cool, okay. Um, probably just because of... In- you saw Fantastic Beasts, right? I saw a little bit. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. Um, it makes sense because in the little suitcases, there's a whole world that looks yeah. great. So that's yeah. probably why. Um, no Deadpool. Yeah, the best movie, unfortunately. Well, what are you going to do? That's okay. You know, we'll be fine. I do have a little confession to make. What? Don't tell me you didn't like Deadpool. No. 
I like Doctor Strange more than Civil War. Yeah, we talked about it. You told me that. Yeah, Doctor Strange yeah. was great. I still I can't wait to see it again. <laughs> I was so excited to see the movie again. Well, it's supposed to be on Blu-ray soon, so there you yeah. go. Um, also, speaking of Blu-rays, Pro Tip Disney lets you download the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we talked about this. It lets you download the movie for free on your iTunes or on your computer. Yeah. Instead of having to download a separate app, Flixer or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. you download it, which is great. So if you're going to buy a, D, uh, a Disney property... Movie, make sure you get the digital HD version. You get a free version. Exactly. Free. One, it's like buy two, get one, buy one, get one free, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about with you, Kevin, mm-hmm. and with the Crisis Crew, Hashtag is Crisis Crew. Are you excited for Legion? Mm. I don't know. So Legion is the FX show based on. It's uh, a superhero, supervillain. He's a mutant. He's a based on, based on the character of Legion, he's a mutant. It's set in the X Men universe. Yeah, it comes out February eighth, which is two weeks, I guess, from now. Yeah. Um, it looks colorful. It looks great. It has Aubrey Plaza in it as a sidekick. I thought he's crushing her. As sassy Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. So you're not ex- you're eh about it. It's not really the show itself. It's about X Men amount of shows that I have to watch now. Uh huh. Well, it, <laughs> February eighth is a win. February eighth. Is a Wednesday. Yeah. What's not, what, what time? What, what's the time slot? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Won't let you know. Doesn't tell me. But uh, it's so I have to watch pretty much Supergirl and wrestling on Monday. I have to watch then I just Flash Legends tomorrow and wrestling on oh, Tuesday. I have to complain about so many superheroes. I, I gotta shows. watch so much stuff. All these podcasts I'm doing. Now. I'm just like, oh god, and there's another thing I got to watch now. I gotta watch Westworld. Game of Thrones is coming back sooner than later. Like, there's so much stuff to watch. I don't have any time. Um, <laughs> it looks great. It looks pretty trippy. Oh, also, Netflix shows, too. Yeah, because which that, that, Iron that, Fist that, comes out, too. March. Too. Yeah. March. Um, but Legion's set in the X-Men universe, and it's it's sort of Fox, which owns X-Men. We talked yeah. about that in another podcast. Um, go back and listen to them until they're great. Is it, is it on FX or FXX? It's on FX. Okay. So it's well, on, makes it on the station that's with... Uh, American Horror Story, American yeah. Crime Story. It makes it easier because the taboo. F- FX is very Tom good Hardy. with with their um with their app and watching stuff on going demand. So mm-hmm. it makes it actually a lot easier to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it looks cool because it it's in the X Men universe. It's in the movie universe. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna be like Agents of Shield where it pulls in everything. It's gonna be reference things saying you know Wolverine's here. Yeah. Professor X is there. Blah blah. And I think it's it's place in the sixties or the seventies. I'm so kind really of during, sure during Day of the Future pastime, pretty much. Mm. Okay, that's cool. Um, it does not tell me. Mm, that's okay. Um, but it looks cool. It's only going to have eight episodes this first season, so it'll I can end. commit to that. You can commit to eight. I least. can wait four weeks, watch four, wait another four uh, weeks, watch another four. But it looks that. exciting because, you know, that side of Marvel, the X-Men universe, needs to be expanded more than needs to be re- restarted. restarted. <laughs> and maybe this is the way of them saying, hey, we're going to restart it. You know, maybe they'll put Wolverine finally in the Deadpool movie. Their first mistake was, and this is no offense to her because she's a great actor, when they made Mystique just the focus of the X-Men. And I'm like, no. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. Because Jennifer Lawrence won an Oscar, that's why. But it's like, but she's she a, was a known, She was a no-name at first. But still, she's a... And then she won the Oscar that same year, and then they made her the prominent Mystique's figure. a bad guy. She shouldn't Which is why been she in wasn't in cost- why, why she wasn't in makeup a lot for the other movies. That was their first mistake. They should have never did that. Cause... Keep her in the makeup. She's blue. Not even that. Just make her not in the X-Men because Mystique's a bad guy. <laughs> uh, that was the main it's issue. True. It's true. <laughs> um, also, do you think Logan, this is the last question I want to ask you, is going to be his last, sorry, Hugh Jackman's last Wolverine attempt is Logan? Or do you think he's going to be in the Deadpool movie? I thought, I'll just say Money Talks. Money Talks is true. <laughs> That's all I was saying. I hope he's in the Deadpool movie. It could be Deadpool 3. That's fine. I, who knows if we'll make it a Deadpool 3. I think that maybe his last time as Logan in that Wolverine Universe. story. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He could make a cameo in the Deadpool movie and be sick. In yeah. the comics, Deadpool and Wolverine are almost as close as Deadpool and Cable, which is his oh, sort Deadpool of main and, uh, partner, it? Spider-Man. Yes, please make that happen. Oh, that God. won't happen at all. Mo- Fox, Marvel, and Sony. That's please. Not, no, it's three studios that won't mix. We need, um, to, we need to be focused on being together, not... Not dis- dis- disjointed as as, a, as one America. That's true. So Fox but. and Disney work together. <laughs> Just get along, everybody, please. <laughs> but you know, continue our conversations. Hashtag Crisis Crew on Twitter yes. at Infinite Underscore Pods is our Twitter. Um, that is Kevin. Hey, and that's Hoodie. 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was um, waiting. Have an awesome weekend. You know, stay safe. Stay safe. All, all our favorite TV shows are back. Walking Dead's back soon too. And you just listened to the 14th episode yes. of Crisis on Infinite Podcast. Podcast.